Airport Simulator 2014 Tips. Planes arrive slowly. Sometimes you can reuse a vehicle if you wait for a new plane to arrive instead of returning the vehicle to the parking area. So I had like six airplanes or seven airplanes arrive and five were in the gate at the same time. And for one case, it told me to return the vehicle to the parking area. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait for the plane to arrive and see if it tells me to take the vehicle and send it to the other plane. And what it did was it told me to take the vehicle and send it to the other plane. The passenger tunnel goes faster in the forward mode. If it is moving slowly, you might have it in reverse. In reverse, it moves so slowly that it seems like it's taking forever. And in the forward mode, it moves very quickly. Try to complete tasks that have the smallest amount of time remaining. In general, this is true, but there's a few uh, exceptions. For example, the oil tanker, the fueling truck is very slow and it takes a long time to get to where it's going. Some aircraft have different procedures such as cargo. Uh, so you got passenger aircraft, you got cargo aircraft. The cargo aircraft is going to have a different procedure. For example, you have a cargo uh, vehicle that goes and loads a piece of cargo or removes a piece of cargo. It's okay to bump another vehicle. In addition, a small object can block your vehicle from moving. So if you hit a telephone pole, your vehicle's just gonna stop. And I have slammed other vehicles really hard. Doesn't do any damage, it just tips them. Fast vehicles will overshoot the parking area the brakes are not good enough. Release the throttle before you get to the parking area. So for slow vehicles, it doesn't matter. You just get there and hit the brakes. But for fast vehicles like those little minivans, you have to release the throttle because when you hit the brakes, the vehicle won't stop and you overshoot the little circle. Some vehicles such as the stairs do not need to be aligned properly. I just drove the stairs nearby and it wasn't angled properly at all and it completed it but with the cargo you have to align everything and then hit the space bar when a plane departs you have to move it using the taxi it's easier to pull the plane instead of pushing it pulling the plane makes it easier to steer and if you push it it you might uh it might zigzag a little bit getting back there Okay, so these are my tips for Airport Simulator 2014. Uh, if you have already played the game, you probably learned a lot of these tips. If you haven't played the game yet, I'm going to tell you it's not that great of a game. It's only good for, it's not good for an advanced player. It's not a tycoon game. It's not a strategy game. Um, it's just a simulator. All you do is drive the vehicles around and it gets to be quite boring. It's very simple.